Now that we've told you what a plasma is, how it's created, and where you can find it, we will now create a standard plasma to show you in a lab. We will be creating a standard glow discharge plasma and a half frosted, half unfrosted fluorescent light bulb. We are using a 500 volt DC power supply. We have now attached a black wire. This wire is negative, making the left side of the fluorescent light bulb the cathode. The farthest right plug-in for the black wire is grounded. Next wire. We have now attached a red wire. This wire is positive, making the right side of the fluorescent light bulb the like anode. We are using a 5000 ohm 10 watt resistor connected to the red wire. We are also using a Tesla coil to jumpstart the electrons. The Tesla coil creates a strong electrical field which can cause arcing. We will now turn on the fluorescent light bulb using 250 volt potential. You may notice that nothing is happening. This is because the electrons do not have enough kinetic energy to excite the gas. Now we will use the Tesla coil to excite the electrons. As you've just seen, the Tesla coil creates such a strong electric field that it does not need to touch the metal end of the fluorescent light bulb to excite the electrons. We will now power up the fluorescent bulb using 375 volt potential. Again, you see nothing happens. So now, we will again use the Tesla coil. You can see now that at 375 volts, the plasma glows brighter than before. We will now power up the fluorescent light bulb with the maximum voltage, 500. Yet again, we see that nothing happens. Now we will again use the Tesla coil. Now, the plasma glows its brightest at 500 volts. This is the negative side, or the cathode end. The space you are seeing is known as a dark space. This is Faraday's dark space. This is formed when electrons collide in the cathode glow. After they collide, they slow down and have to pick up speed again to reionize the gas. When they do reionize the gas, they create the positive column or the bigger plasma that you see in the rest of the tube. Now, there are two other dark spaces before Faraday's dark space. Ashton's and Crook's. Unfortunately, you cannot see them because they are confined. This is the diagram of a standard glow discharge plasma. Now, we see the anode end of the fluorescent light bulb. Although you can't see it, there is a dark space on this end as well. It is known as the anode dark space, but it is confined. Since plasma is an ionized gas, it can be affected by magnetic fields. We will now use these magnets to affect the mercury and argon inside of the tube. As you can see, the magnets can make the plasma move up and down, left and right. If you're able to get two magnets with the same poles on both sides, you can pinch the plasma. We will now use a diffraction grading tool to spread out the colors.